was, and I was yeah. very surprised when people are so amazed by it, you know. And uh, part of the central, I suppose, story of, of the book is your marriage to uh, Lord Colin. Colin. Yeah, yeah, Colin. And, uh, I mean, quite early on... <laughs> I, mean, well, he, well, he, I know what you're going to ask me. What my mother told me about sex. Oh, I wasn't, but... Um, <laughs> but feel free. Yeah, uh, you know, I, was, I thought that's what you were sort no, of... No, fear, no, I, uh, no, I... Oh, no. Come on, tell us. There was just absolutely... Uh, and when I was 11, and I was being... Um, my mother was <laughs> taking me to boarding school for the first time, and I suppose she felt she had to tell me something, you know. And she said... <laughs> boarding school? Uh, uh, well, is that what, what happened? happened? Was, she said, you, you know when Biscuit was her dog? Biscuit. Uh, when blood... <laughs> when, it's, it's also a dog. So, well, well, when blood comes out of Bissy's bottom, yes. that's what's going to happen to you shortly. And what? also, when Daddy's Labrador gets on top of Biscuit, that's going to happen when you get married, but you'll probably be lying in a bed. And that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I must have some water. Is this my... Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's, that's yours. yours. I may have to have a huge thing of vodka. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that, well, in a way, it prepares you for life. Well, it sort of did. No. Uh, it, uh, no, 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 if, do you want me to go into my honeymoon now? Yes. Uh, please do. Please do. We're, we're on a roll, Lady and Connor. Uh, yeah, well, Chadwick I, looks shocked. I, 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 I the thing was that when, people, when I wrote this book, people thought it was going to be a little lavender sort of scented memoir. And I said, well, actually, I'm afraid it's not going to be. And then everybody said, oh, I'm going to buy it for my mother. And I said, well, I'm not sure. I do hope your mother's broad-minded. <laughs> <laughs> I've sent it to mine. <laughs> well, I think mothers are rather broad-minded. Yes. Anyway, um, Colin and I, I had the most fantastic wedding at Hoko. I was treated as a, uh, as a son. There were three tents, three... I had three wedding cakes. And Tony Snowden took my um, wedding photographs and my father rather rudely called him Tony Snapshot, which I think he actually never forget. Um, and anyway, there I was, having had this amazing wedding, wonderful wedding dress and everything like that. And we, we were going to Paris for my honeymoon and we arrived very late at night at the Lottie Hotel and um, went up to the, I imagine, the sort of bridal suite. Well, he lay down and went to sleep. And that, that was my honeymoon. I mean, well, I've been longing for a night of passion, you know. Yes. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, and then the next day we spent looking, we went to the Louvre or something. And then Colin <laughs> said, uh, I was quite bored by that. And then Colin <laughs> said, well, um, I've got a great treat for you. And so I was absolutely thrilled. I thought, dinner at the Ritz, you know. And I put on my best dress, all that sort of thing. We got into the car. And I did rather see, I saw the Ritz miles away, but off we went to the outskirts. And we stopped at this really seedy hotel. And my heart sank. I thought, up we went to this room, and there were two seats. Um, they, were, they were wing-backed. Um, velvet seats and so I sat and on the bed were two really disgusting people making love uh, and sort of squelching about and I didn't know what to do <laughs> so I, I sat, sat back in my chair closed my eyes and I re simply didn't want to look at Collie I didn't know what he was doing <laughs> <laughs> and, um, um, anyway I, I sat there prepared, and then they kept on saying would you like to join in <laughs> I said, well, look, it's very kind of you. I think it's very kind of kind you. Of you. Kind. But, but, but I really don't know. No, thank you. No. <laughs> so, and eventually, thank God, they finished what they did. <laughs> And left the room. And I did say to Colin, I can't think, Colin, why you took me. <laughs> why you thought... And we said, I thought it might... Have, you know, I, I was a virgin, you see, because we all... Uh, <laughs> well, uh, and I don't really? think Colin ever made love to a virgin, because he used to go off to... Um, it was a brothel. I mean, yeah, yeah, probably a brothel. Probably. You, you'll, you'll know it, Helena. Know. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> Market uh, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So, well, it, I think it was safe yeah. to say Colin, Colin <laughs> was a colourful character. Well, well, he's so <laughs> <laughs> well he was. Uh, I mean, he was wonderful in lots of ways, but he did have this terrible temper. 
Yes, but but also very impulsive. Mm. I mean, he bought yes. he bought the island of Mustique. Yeah, well, he certainly did. Uh, um, he, he didn't land there. He just, just sailed round. And then I went <laughs> the next year. I thought he was completely mad. But he did transform, sort of with the help of Princess Margaret, it into no, this no, billionaire's I mean, well, playground. Princess Margaret, I mean, you, you, really you came... <laughs> uh, uh, your pact, uh, you came on your honeymoon. Uh, yeah. Wasn't it my present? Uh, yes, and we hadn't given you a present. And Colin said, would you like something in a little box or would you like a piece of lamb? And so, oh, she said, a piece of lamb. And then we didn't hear anything until her marriage started to go wrong. Uh -huh. And uh, she rang up and she said, you know, did you mean uh, what you said? Have I got a bit of lamb? And uh, we said, yes, and a house, she said. So Colin, <laughs> uh, uh, Colin took a deep breath and said, yes, ma'am, OK, a house. And, uh, <laughs> and in the book, I think yeah. we see a side of Princess Margaret that we, we don't know. You talk, you talk very movingly about her reaction uh, when your second son was diagnosed with AIDS. Well, yes, I mean, this is one of the things that, you know, people don't know about. My second son, Henry, got AIDS. And in those days, it was in the late 80s, People didn't know how you caught it. People were terrified. Um, it just it made an excuse and didn't come and yeah. stay. But Princess Margaret always came. She brought um, Sarah and David with her. She always hugged Henry. And when he was really ill, she used to come with me to a place called the Lighthouse. Yes, of Which course. was... Um, created for um, young men dying of AIDS. And quite often their partners had died. Their parents wouldn't have anything to do with them. And Princess Margaret wasn't a sort of touchy-feely person, you know, she didn't sort of like Princess of Wales, but she was funny, she talked to them, she made them laugh, she made them yeah. forget, you know. And when uh, I was so grateful to her, you know, uh, the way she treated Henry. She had um, huge compassion, but she also didn't do it for publicity. No, she didn't. Um, yeah. But your book... It sort of flips because you've got what you expect, the privilege, the parties, the funny stories, all of that. And then you talk about your son, Henry, but in a very short space of time, you had your son, Henry, with AIDS, uh, yeah, Charlie yeah, with the heroin. Yeah. And, and then, we, and mm. he's here tonight, is Christopher, who had uh, the most appalling accident in Belize on a motorbike during his gap year. He was in a coma for six months and he couldn't talk for a year. Uh, and I knew the other two boys were going to die. And I was absolutely determined that I wasn't going to lose Christopher. Yeah. And um, my nanny, Barbara Barnes, who went off to look after Prince William and Prince Harry, uh, um, had left her job and said, Lady Anne, I'll give you um, six months. And she, uh, Chris was her first baby. And so she came and we did all sorts of things. We wrote a, in fact, we wrote an article for The Lancet about how as lay people we felt that, um, how you should treat, you know, people in comas. And I don't know where Christopher is, but he's sitting here somewhere. Where is Christopher? But, oh, there he is. Uh, uh, with, with his daughter. <laughs> oh, fantastic. That's an amazing <laughs> My twin daughters are here, and it's her birthday today. Oh! <laughs> happy birthday, twins! <laughs> there they are. Yeah. Amy and May. Amy and May. Happy birthday. Well, that's tomorrow, so it fits in rather well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But here's, here's the thing. So you, you've had this extraordinary yeah. life. You've yeah. now relived it all and gone through it well, in this it's book. It's all like going to psychiatry. Yes. Actually. But yeah. are you enjoying this bit? Are you well, enjoying stepping yes. out into the spotlight? Well, I'm 87, and I've never oh. had such a good time in my life. <laughs> oh. Well, it's been a delight and a delight. Good luck with the book. Oh. Lady Gantana, everybody. It's been so lovely to have you on. It's been so lovely to have you on.